Hi everyone, welcome to the QOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be talking about string manipulation. So this can be used in the test, in the system, wherever you need. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. Uh, it's not everything that you can do, uh, but it's going to give you an idea. And if you need other things, I would say just whenever you need some string manipulation, you stop, dedicate some time, and then you're going to learn by going to do whatever you need to do. Cool. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notifications of my next videos. And I'm also going to be posting the links for the previous ones so you can keep it up. Cool. So so let's start here, right? So what we're going to do. So this is the previous video. We're going to create a new class and I'm going to give the name of string manipulation and I just made a typo string refactor rename string manipulation great cool so I'm going to create a main and I'm going to use the IntelliJ uh, shortcut main I recommend you to type everything uh, while you're still learning because you need it. Cool. And like, I'm going to create a text, a string, and I'm going to give it a name of empty space, any text that you want, you want empty space. All right, and I'm going to start printing things to show you, right? So. The first thing that I'm going to print is the raw content. So this is the raw content. And text dot, just text. And if I print it, this is the raw content. I'm going to also to print the string to lower case. I'm, on, I'm going to make everything lowercase. So text dot to lowercase. And now I have lowercase. I'm going to make string to upper case to uppercase. I'm going to print it and I have everything uppercase. Now I'm going to get the size of the string. So as out string length and I have text dot length and I'm going to have 24 characters. So let's check this. I'm going to exit the presentation mode because it's going to open the like a toolbar at the bottom. So I'm going to mark everything here. And I'm going to look at the bottom and now I have the the size of that string. It's 24 characters, right? So this is in check. So I'm going to make it bigger again. Cool. Um, now I'm checking. I'm going to trim the string, trim string. And I'm going to say string dot text sorry dot trim and this is going to remove the initial and the end empty space this is the regular empty space which is this one but it's now removing this one and this one so trim is removing the empty space on the edges it does not remove the empty space in the string itself because that's how you make phrases right uh, empty spaces in between words. Um, cool. Now we are going to check the trim string length. We're going to check the length of the trim string. Text dot trim dot length. 22 because we remove one and two. 
Now I'm going to check if the string is blank. Is text blank? Text dot is blank. This is false. And now I'm going to check empty. Empty. And this is, is empty. It's also false. Okay, cool. Here is saying that this is always going to be false, right? Because the string has value, so it's not going to change. This could change once you are checking some data that is dynamic data. You are pulling, getting the data from a website, an API, a database. All right, so now I'm going to create a new string, white space text and this is going to have a space white space only now i'm going to get these two and now i'm going to change these to is white text blank great cool so now when i execute now i have is white space text blank true is white space text empty false so this is true and this is false why is that right so this text it's blank because it does not contain anything except a white space i can put as many wise white space as i want it's still the blank is true but it's not empty it has information white space if I put one character, now the blank is false because it's not blank anymore, right? But a white space, it's blank data. If I remove, now I have the true false. It is blank and it, it is empty. But if I add a white space, it is not empty anymore. Right? Cool. Now I'm going to add some string manipulation, a little bit of string manipulation, right? So I can do replace and I'm going to replace text dot replace and I and I pass the old character what I'm looking for in the new one. So I'm changing any to whatever. So now I have, instead of any text that you want, I have whatever text that you want. Now I'm going to do some checking. Text starts with any. Does this text start with any? So I'm going to say text starts with any it does not start with any because the text starts with an empty space so i need to put an empty space here so yes now if the text starts with an empty space then it is true amazing now i can check if the text ends with an empty space with with uh ends with something text ends ends with ends with so i want the text to end with want does the text ends with want no the text does not end with want because it ends with a white space so want white space now it is true i could say that the text ends with a white space and it's going to be true as well i can say that the text ends with that you want it is true as well if i add something extra here then it's false all right 
So I can check if the text starts with something or not. Now I am going to get a piece of the string and create another string. So substring. And what I do is text dot substring and I pass the beginning index and the end index. So it's zero. And so the text always starts with zero. So the first one is zero here. And I don't know, 14. So it got a piece of that text. And this is what it got. I can say text dot length divided by two. I want the beginning of the phrase and I want half of the, the whole the whole text. Now I have a uh, text divided by two, not 12. Any text th, All right? So the text has 12, 24, 24 divided by two is 12. So you'd be the same as 12. All right. I now can check if the string contains a specific string text dot contains and I can say does it contain text yes it does does it contain text that yes it does does it contain text you that you p that it does not Does it contain text that space y? It does. So the contain is going to check anything in the text itself. Right? So again, this is going to if you are if you are looking for uh, you got you are testing something, you got an API with a specific value, you got some text from a web browser and you want to check a specific value, you can you can manipulate the string, you can check stuff on the string, you can get specific things. No, you don't need to check for the whole string. You can con you can check for a specific thing that's going to make sense for whatever that's uh, for whatever you are testing. So yeah, it's a it's a very interesting to have in your toolbox of stuff that you can do. All right, so thank you for watching. That's what what I wanted to show you. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the, the notifications of my next videos. If you like it, give the thumbs up, and it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. And I see I will see you on my next video.